learn this lesson it is not about you it is about his word in your mouth holy ghost your god in the earth today holy ghost your god the holy ghost is god in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is andrew hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us making holy ghost worshipers out of people someone has to do it and this is my job this is my work I've entered in myself to this place of being a Holy Ghost worshiper and I speak from this place and if you can hear the words that I'm speaking to you it will take you there now many of you are here you say I'm a Holy Ghost worshiper I've come to this place say I've come to this place, to this place. of knowing the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. As, God as God in the earth today and I worship him so you've come to this place you've entered in through a door and you stand in a place that you didn't stand in before can you testify to that yes. it's different in here mm -hmm. I know because I spent a lot of time out there and I've spent a lot of time in here mm -hmm. and it's different I can tell the difference mm -hmm. can you tell the difference when you go through a door from one place to another I hope so mm -hmm. so I'm in here I'm in this room with you well as you know we go from glory right. to glory mm -hmm. so there's got to be more yes. now getting here is a level of glory can you understand that you're li listen you who worship the Holy Ghost are walking in a level of glory that you weren't in before it's on you now say it's on me now, it's on me now. and you've been changed in a way that you weren't changed before you came through that door of worshiping him mm -hmm. I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost changes you and this is a glory that you stand in that you weren't standing in before trying to make this clear mm -hmm. so now what now that you're standing in that glory what's the next step I'm glad you asked mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 8 talking about Adam and Eve and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day say the cool of the day, cool of the day. this is cool yes. now cool i don't know why they translated that it's literally the word ruach it means spirit mm -hmm. they heard the voice of the lord god walking in the spirit so he was in the spirit and they were adam and eve they had flesh but they heard him say they heard him they heard and here it specifically says that's how God walks he walks with his voice he's in the spirit and he walks with his voice this is cool voice walking how was God doing it he was voice walking how do you do it how are you gonna walk with if God walks with his voice obviously and when you when you use your voice you're saying words right they heard the voice saying something mm -hmm. he walks with his words we walk with him with our words mm -hmm. amos chapter 3 3 i won't have you turn there but it says how can two walk together except they be agreed the word agreed literally means saying the same thing they can't walk together unless they're saying the same thing mm -hmm. so if god is walking with his voice and you're supposed to be walking with your voice with God you can't do it together unless you're saying the same thing and if you're saying the same thing you're walking with God if you're not saying the same thing then you're not walking with God you're walking by yourself Amen. I warn you I have a harsh statement this is the harsh statement are you ready I'm just 
I'm trying to trying to prepare the way here lay the, the groundwork this is a harsh statement that will shake up your thinking because a lot of people don't like this and this wouldn't be accepted in most churches they don't want to hear this you are a dichotomy of sorts meaning you're a two you have two opposing parts in your life right now of sorts get it I'm trying to frame this up there's you and there's you speaking in agreement with God can you see that yeah. there's you saying whatever you want to say I say it like it is and then there's you speaking in agreement with God are you here dichotomy two two opposing parts frankly a lot of people oppose themselves and that's why they get nowhere so there's you and then there's you speaking God's Word or better there's you with God's Word in your mouth say there's me there's with me. God's Word in my mouth well here's the statement God doesn't seem to care that much about you I, I said seem okay get a grip on this this will help you out God doesn't seem to care that much about you in fact you could just go on with the rest of your life nothing changing nothing happening but God does seem to care about you with his word in your mouth his care for you goes way up when you have his words in your mouth I'm telling you from experience are you here I can sit here and I can pray and I can do all of these things and try to get God to care about me and he just seems to not it doesn't mean he doesn't you understand mm -hmm. but it would seem that way in your life that he doesn't really seem to care about you but he does on the other side of that seem to care greatly about you with God's Word in your mouth I mean that's not a big message you go I'm gonna come to your church and preach that God doesn't care about you he cares about you when you have his word in your mouth yes. Jeremiah chapter 1 and then verse 12 for I will hasten my word to perform it Amen. I will hasten I will care about I will take heed to and care about my word to perform it and here his word means literally his spoken word or speech God hastens and cares about and takes heed to his spoken word now you're either on that side of speaking his word and walking with God by speaking in agreement or you're on the other side just you mm -hmm. walking by yourself so learn this lesson listen to me learn this lesson it is not about you it is about his word in your mouth because he hastens to his word and if you're the one speaking his word then he's hastening to you he's caring for you does this make sense yes. so he cares about and watches over his spoken word to perform it why why I don't know why that's who he is I'm just reading scripture you want him to care about you then put his word in your mouth mm -hmm. you want him to care about you then put his word in your mouth you want him to care financially for you then put his financial word in your mouth you want him to care about your physical health then put his healing words in your mouth mm -hmm. and watch what happens mm -hmm. he'll seemingly care about you whereas before it seemed like there was silence mm -hmm. does this make sense mm -hmm. hey, you don't have to like me I'm just telling you the way it is you probably rather me oh God he cares about you no he cares about his word mm -hmm. coming to pass he cares about his word and when his word is in your mouth he then cares about you because you're the one speaking his word does this make sense yeah. Well, not everybody gets healed 
not everybody gets prospered but everybody with god's word in their mouth gets healed everybody with god's word in their mouth gets prospered guaranteed so we're here talking about going to the next glory i'm talking to people that do worship the holy ghost they've received and believed in the holy ghost as being god in the earth today and they worship him so what's next do you really want to know because mm -hmm. i've been here a while it's like that whole dichotomy thing i'm telling you about seems like mm -hmm. seems like doesn't care so much about this guy cares extra much about this guy mm -hmm. there's only one difference god's word in my mouth stop praying like you have been just stop it and start saying god's word some of you can hear it some of you can't let me stop praying you've been praying for years but with no result mm -hmm. start saying god's word out your mouth he'll he'll start to care about it and seemingly you again it's not about you either way it's about his word coming to pass mm -hmm. Stop praying and start saying. Say, start saying. Start saying. Start saying. Say, start saying. Start saying. You're going to say God's word. When you say God's word, it comes to pass in your life. When you don't say God's word, well, nothing. Stop praying like you have been and start saying God's word. And expect listen and expect the same results that you would expect when you're praying except better are you here now that's a difficult thing for people to understand but I'm trying to help you you're in this room with worshiping the Holy Ghost as God right you already know he's God you worship him as God I worship you Holy Ghost now you're beginning to walk with him and you're gonna walk from one glory that you're on to the next glory I'm telling you where it is this is where it is you're not gonna get there by going back to the old ways you used to do things that might have almost sort of worked that one time somehow before they're not gonna work anymore they don't work over here speaking God's Word works over here Say, speaking God's word, speaking God's word works, over here. works over here. Isn't this a great message? How, how many churches do I get invited to when I tell them God doesn't care about you and to stop praying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you wanted to know? I asked you if you wanted to know, and this is how we go to the next glory. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 3 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty so there's liberty where the lord is that spirit or where the spirit of the lord is if he is lord then you worship him if he's not lord then you don't worship him say he is lord, he is lord. and i worship him. I worship him he's the one jesus sent to be with us in the earth we're walking with him we're going from glory to glory with him let's read on but we all with open face beholding his in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed say are changed, changed. that means you're different than you were before yes. are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or by the Lord who is that spirit once you've received him as God and you acknowledge him that he is the Lord the Spirit the spirit lord and you worship him because of that mm -hmm. you're changed from one glory but here it says we go from glory to glory so we're in that one glory by worshiping him and now we go to another glory mm -hmm. and we're talking about the next glory you go to now that the lord is that spirit to us the spirit lord mm -hmm. you know he's not the spirit lord to everybody 
you know how many people just wouldn't worship him they won't worship him seems odd doesn't it to us now doesn't it doesn't back when I first came into this room it seemed a little strange to me too but you have to keep going on anytime you go into something new a new level of glory it feels a little bit different doesn't it yeah. because it's you're, it's not what you're used to most people are used to praying and praying and praying and praying and praying and nothing happening they're used to it have you been there but now when we start saying God's Word because it's different we start seeing results immediately say immediately. immediately why would that be new level of glory that next glory which is walking with him by speaking in agreement with his word the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we walk with him by speaking in agreement with his word have you ever heard this before yes now do you know why I keep saying it over and over listen it's the glory you enter into that you weren't in before and when you begin to worship him and then speak in agreement with his word he takes you from one glory to the next glory to the next glory and if you're obedient on this level of glory in speaking in agreement with him do you see why we have to have him first yes. we're speaking in agreement with him and when you are obedient and do it say do it, do it. the speaking in agreement with him you can see the next glory I didn't see it before but I'm seeing it now I'm trying to help you out you wanted to know this is where we go you go to this glory walking with him speaking the word only say speaking the word only speaking the word only you do this and you will see the next if you don't do this listen to me if you don't do this you won't see the next You'll just stay there I say that all the time with worshiping the Holy Ghost if you don't open up your mouth and say I worship you Holy Ghost you won't enter into the room of Holy Ghost worship if you don't do that you won't see this now that you're in the room if you don't speak in agreement with his word you won't see the next is this fun yet mm -hmm. first Corinthians chapter 2 and then verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god who would that be the holy ghost. the holy ghost now this is a little pet peeve of mine it says the spirit which is of god literally that word right there which w-h-i-c-h is translated 52 other times in the new testament as who wouldn't that have helped us out yeah not which is of God who is God mm -hmm. pet peeve now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God of him mm -hmm. isn't that right yes. they're given to us of him mm -hmm. we've received him that we might know the things mm -hmm. say know the things oh that are freely given to us by him once we've received him and people in my estimation that have not received him as God and worship him because if he's God you'd worship him they can't go here they can't receive certain things that come from him as God verse 13 which things also we speak first of all we had to receive him as God mm -hmm. right yeah. and worship him now we're in a different space we're in a different room and he's trying to give us some things which things also we speak also means he's already spoken them now we have to speak them that's your next step say that's my next step, that's my next step. we step up on that next step 
by speaking the things that are freely given to us of God do you see that yes. which things also we speak that is the very next glory step in fact we are changed from one glory to glory so when we step up on that next thing by saying it say by saying it by saying. we're changed into the thing we've said mm -hmm. you become changed into the person who has and is the thing said if it's a healing verse of scripture you become a healed person is there glory in that mm -hmm. If it's a prosperity scripture you become a prosperous person is there glory in that yes. that's one of the actual definitions of the word glory is wealth mm -hmm. you see it if you say it you see it say if I say it I see it if you don't say it you'll never see it you can just pray about it mm -hmm. so people ask what's the way forward once you're in this room I'm telling you if you've entered the room of Holy Ghost worship this is the next step this is the way forward this is your way forward speaking his words out your mouth will take you to a place that you couldn't go without it this has become my religion I worship you Holy Ghost your God in the earth today and I speak in agreement with your word mm -hmm. and I make disciples I make disciples disciples literally means disciplined ones people that are disciplined in worshiping the Holy Ghost as God disciplined to speak in agreement with his word only Holy Ghost worship and speaking in agreement with his word word the bible talks about babes in christ have you heard this the word babe if you look it up i look up a lot of words you look up the word it literally means non-speakers they're non-speakers they've they've not yet learned how to speak well in this room of holy ghost worship that's your next step is to learn how to speak his word so we go into all the world and make disciples disciples of what worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and speaking in agreement with his word and those who can hear this those who hear my words can go with me and those who don't 1st Corinthians 14 38 says let them remain and I have nothing to do with them but I want you to go with me mm. are you willing the Holy Ghost says I must have words spoken listen to it I must have words spoken if you are to go to the next level with me says the Spirit Lord I must have my words spoken for my words will take you there I've already released my ability in those words they are designed to take you from one glory to the next glory in whatever area of life you choose so learn how to put those words on your lips and say them repeatedly over and over until you see the results of those things come to pass in your life we thank you Holy Ghost but you have to know your place and it's you and the Holy Ghost that's it you and the Holy Ghost in the earth walking together Jesus isn't here Jesus will return will return means not here he sent the Holy Ghost to be with you it's you and the Holy Ghost know your place know where you're at mm -hmm. and now begin to learn yes he's got how to walk with him that takes you to the next level of glory you're not going to the next level of glory without him and now that you're with him worshiping him he will take you to the next if you do this it's just you and the Holy Ghost in the earth walking together speaking words 
it's just you and the Holy Ghost in the earth together speaking words how can two walk together except they be in greed mm -hmm. he's not gonna agree with you mm -hmm. he doesn't change you have to change to agree with him and when you change listen when you change to agree with him you go from one glory to another glory this is the next and you will see the next if you do it you and the Holy Ghost speaking words going from glory to glory this is the next glory for you the spoken word it levels you up say it levels me up it levels me up what does that mean you go to another level you're no longer doing things that you used to do on the old level in fact they seem sad to you because you're on a new level listen you're on a new level you're walking with god the holy ghost in the earth and learning to speak his words will become effectual to you in a way that none of those other things could this is what you were designed to do this is how you were designed to walk with the spirit god in the earth god created you this way for this purpose for such a time as this why do you keep talking about that because you're gonna be here for a while you will be here not just on this level but you will be doing this for a while this is how God does things you can go from level to level but you'll always be with the Holy Ghost and speaking words mm -hmm. you'll always be with the Holy Ghost and speaking words it takes time listen it takes time to learn how to speak accurately and learning to walk with him is completely different than what you were doing before so shake off that old you for the new you and the new time has come to walk with the living god in a fresh and living way on a new level of glory and people will say what happened to you and you will tell them i've been changed from one glory to the next for I've learned to know the Holy Ghost as the Spirit Lord my God in the earth and how to walk with him how much glory do you suppose is in one verse of Scripture you couldn't possibly extract it all or walk in it all it's infinite listen it's infinite so when I'm saying God's word by Jesus stripes I was healed or I'm saying God's word the blessing of the Lord makes me rich how rich how healed infinitely healed infinitely rich that's what's in there you can go from one level of glory in that to another level of glory you can be this healed or you can be that healed you can be this rich or you can be that rich are you here but how are you gonna get there same way Holy Ghost Spirit Lord God the earth today I worship you and speaking in agreement with his word are you here mm -hmm. let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that these people heard this message and they have been completely and effectually changed they shall not stay the same but are going from one glory to the next glory and as they do says the Spirit Lord they shall see the new glory they shall be able to say the new glory and see the new glory say the new glory and see the new glory and you will walk in it to the degree where you don't even recognize who you used to be and we worship you holy ghost for it in jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are the living god in the earth today you know how to multiply my seed and my tithe you make me rich and add no sorrow with it i worship you in jesus name amen the father is in heaven jesus at his right hand your God.